Check this out. It's snowing. <laughs> it is you in December. And how awesome it is. It's bloody 8th of December and it's snowing. Driving oh, to our next geez. camp and it's just. But first it was, I think it was hailing, and now it is snowing. Oh, it's snowing. It's, uh, <laughs> this is amazing. We're, obviously we're not from snow country. I've, the boys have never seen snow, so they're absolutely frothing. Am I? I've only seen it once. I've never been, I've never been in snow. So, this is, for us, this is absolutely incredible. This we're, is uh, so exciting. We're still a ways from camp, and... It's oh. proper snowing, so we've got to get to camp. It's meant to snow again. It's meant to snow tonight, so there's a fair chance we might wake up snowed in. Look at, look at the snowball it's I just, made. Just made his first ever snowball. <laughs> He's loving it, but yeah, this is epic. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get too heavy because we've still got, like I said, we've still got about 15, 20 minutes to go to get to camp. So, and as you can tell, we are so excited. Yeah, pretty, pretty excited, just quietly. So. Ew. But it's freezing! Yeah, it's absolutely freezing. But <laughs> worth it. I'm excited. Alright, oh, no, we, we better get moving back to camp, but check it. How <laughs> <Yeah>, cool. <laughs> Beautiful, sun come out, it was cracking. Put the barbie on, steak sangers. Now it's friggin' snowing, or hailing, or bloody something on us. It is freezing again. I think now it's just raining more than anything, but I don't think we're far off another lot of snow. So, this uh, tells you summer weather, you're going good. God damn. Good. Put it down there. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, we are, uh, hands are a bit cold, the barbecue is struggling, because <laughs> it's dead set one degree, we're out here cooking steak sandwiches, as you do, anyway, could be much worse I guess, if it wasn't crappy weather it would be a pretty nice buddy camp spot. Not exactly sure what happened to all the trees, but they're not living life. They're not loving life. Maybe they've got sick of the snow too. But yeah, considering we're about 150k out of Hobart or something along those lines, and middle of summer, it shouldn't be snowing. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome back to another episode. That was a uh, that was different. Didn't think it would be a uh, cooking. Steak sandwiches in the snow in summer, and but that's Tassie for you, I guess. So this little banger behind us is Lake King William. It's uh, another one of Tassie's ever changing landscapes. Not sure what's going on over the back here with all the trees, but they've been cut down. I don't know if they've dammed it and the water stopped running, but nice little bit of a nice little river running behind us, little creek or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's been a nice little camp. We're just here for the night. Um, yeah, it's been bloody cold as you can tell from the snow, but uh, yeah, nice, nice spot. We just have the diesel heater cranking, keeping warm and drying some washing. But we're heading, uh, yeah, like I said, we're heading down towards the Derwent Bridge now, and I'll bring you along and show you what sort of the southwest corner of Tassie's got to offer in this ep. So let's get it done. Okay, after a smashing drive of about 22 kilometres, we pulled up at Bronte Lagoon. And this is our kind of jam, 100%. There's just us, no one around. Haley's in there, just got the computer going to upload some upcoming episodes. Yeah, the internet pole up because there wasn't real flash and now we're peeking off our heads with the internet. There's a fire pit right here. There's a lake right there, or lagoon. 
and we are happy, happy, happy campers. Yeah, we're just going to have a quick look around the area, and then I think it's come back and a couple of bevies, a bit more YouTube work, and a fire. Sounds like our afternoon done. I'm just having a snack. <laughs> I always hungry. So we're um, yeah, we're gonna go and get this done. But yes, very, very, very happy. So we've been for our, been for our little look around, and now in for a fire. Little man's doing gonna, it again. Gonna do it with the flint and steel. We'll see how we goes. Not the easiest process as you can see but the boys are just learning but um, now Jet's having a go. So after lots and lots and lots of striking they finally got the fire lit we sat around that for the afternoon, enjoyed a few drinks, cooked some dinner, then the weather turned a bit ordinary so we locked ourselves inside and settled in for an early night. So that's our stay here at Bronnie Lake done. Um, yeah, woken up to a bloody banger of a morning. Look at that. Very nice, there's a couple of boats out already trying to get trout and stuff. I'm assuming there's a few in here because the bloody boat's constantly coming and going. So, you know, I don't have, a, don't have a freshwater fishing license, which you need to fish in any fresh water in Tasmania. Uh, you don't need it for salt water, but any fresh water and inland fishing, you need to license so but yeah what a banger um yeah we're moving on to probably hamilton i think today gotta go get some water and there's a nice little campground there that i might be able to stock up on a few supplies and stuff too as well but yeah so anyway we'll head on down the road and see what it's got to offer but yeah great night here at uh Bronte lagoon so put this one on your bucket list if you're passing through the central islands of tasmania and hot tip Go into the town of Bronte itself. The little general store in there does some of the best fish and chips you'll ever have. Hot tip for you. Check it out. Bethune, Bethany campground. Um, yeah, what a cracker of a spot this is. We're uh, perched up right on the hill. There's actual flush and toilets just behind us, which is a rarity for out this way. And what a stunner. Days, Tassie's turned it on weather wise finally. So we're topping the solar up, getting the washing done. But yeah, this is a ripper. We've um, just been down exploring all the lake and now we're going to go for a drive and see if we can see some platypuses. Apparently there's platypuses just down the road, so we're going to go check that out. But yeah, this, I uh, highly recommend this one. It's free and it's absolutely beautiful. There's a, there's a spot down lower there you can see down lower. Apparently it, gets pretty, it can get pretty windy, so you can get down there a bit out of the wind. But And apparently there's trout in the, heaps of trout in the lake, dam, lagoon, whatever they want to be around this place. But yeah, absolute stunner. So this will definitely do us for the night. And let's go and see if we can see some platypuses. Now we can probably call that a semi-successful mission. We saw a platypus very, very briefly, but still seen one. Um, Probably got there a little bit early. The uh, wiki camp thing says between five and seven, so around dusk, but we got there a bit early. But anyway, yeah, seen a platypus. Seen plenty of little trout jumping around in the creek and saw some sheep getting herded up the road by some four wheel drivers, which was pretty funny. But anyway, time to go back for a froppy and some dinner. It's getting, getting pretty late, so anyway, we'll call that semi successful.
So Tabby just seems to be the gift that keeps on giving. Check this out. We had uh, moved on down to Ted's Beach this morning to, uh, which is pretty much as far south to the southwest as you can go. It's about 11, 12 degrees. It's raining. What do our kids want to do? <laughs> go. <laughs> they want to go paddle boarding. Jet zone, jet zone. So mum's getting a second arm workout for the day. <laughs> she's she's struggling. The, the old king's paddle boards, if you if you're not around them, you get all over them. They're best thing and they're jet. cheap as considering. So yeah, so just just wet it up as you do when you when it's meant to be summer, but we got the big girl parked up over here. <coughs> Mountains absolutely everywhere. The drive down here was, she was ordinary, let's put it that way. Windy and hilly, chewed, bit over a quarter of a tank to do, just over 100 k's, so, which isn't ideal, but anyway, what do you do? Uh, but yeah, she's stunning. Um, we're gonna park up here for a few days, I think, and we'll just explore the area and see what uh, see what down here's got to offer. Like we said, it's pretty much as far south as you can drive a car, or far southwest as you can drive a car. So you can go down to Strathgordon, which is a little bit down the road, but other than that, it's pretty much it. The rest of it's all bushwalking and nothing. So yeah, she's pretty remote down here. Um, but yeah, the boys are the boys are into it. More power to them because I'm not having a bar of it, but. Anyway, this is a ripper. Jet out into it. Water's actually surprisingly warm for where we are and what the temperatures have been like, but yeah, so. He'll have a ball out there and we'll go and have a look around. Sick. This is going to be a good few days, I can feel it. Take a look at this, Lake Petter. Check it's that out. Amazing, great views. Yeah, we're, we're camped up around the around the side there somewhere. We're, I don't know, probably five, 10 minutes up the road. At Teddy's Beach. And, um, like we showed you yesterday, there's a Strathgordon little village just down the road here. Got fuel, two bucks 50 for mm -hmm. unleaded and nearly three bucks for diesel. So we left that. Yeah, that's a no for us. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Beautiful little spot to stop in and have a buddy have a whiskey and or a drink and a dip feed, I think. It, uh, yeah, the restaurant out the back of the information centre has got a nice fire going and some comfy lounges that looks really inviting. Yeah, so that looked cool. If it was a shitty day, you could get in there in the fire. But yeah, so we're going to check out this bit of area today. We've had a break in the rain, which is bloody nice, but we've got an average rainfall down here of 1.91 metres, which is a lot of rain, so it's to, crazy. So to be not getting rained on is a bit rarer from what we've sort of worked out. So yeah, there was um, in the information center there was a bit of information about the rain, and you know back in I think it was 1967 or something like that, it rained every day from August to October or something like that. But <laughs> so, yeah, that's just crazy. Yeah, so, so we're going to make the most of it, check out the area and check out a few of the dams around here because there's some massive dams for the hydro and whatnot. So yeah. we're going to go and check them out. And so Lake, Lake Petter, which is behind us, and Lake Gordon, which has got one of the largest the concrete. High, the highest concrete arch dam yeah. in the world. So we're going to go and check it. It should be cool. So we jinxed ourselves, but no rain's not working out that well for us. It just started bumping down. We but drove yeah, into it. Yeah, we just must have drove straight into it. But we've come to Gordon Dam and good lord, this is one high dam. 
Um, Jed stayed in the car because he doesn't want to borrow the height, but uh, we'll get out here in a sec and we'll give you a look. But just the scenery in the area down here is just amazing. It's not like anything that's on the mainland. Um, yeah, just incredible. The mountains and the rock sculptures and or the rock formations, but there's a bit of lookout down here, but it's shut by the look of it. <laughs> a little restaurant or something, but I'm gonna swing you around, check this out. Holy cross, I've just gone all dizzy from the light. <laughs> That is phenomenal, but I can't get too close because the old legs are going all shaky. I'm going to give it to Hayley. She can do this. It's A for me. I wouldn't want to be doing the uh, maintenance on this. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> so Daniel's just testing out the limits. <laughs> <laughs> He's managed to get back out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this place is amazing, but <laughs> my god, it's doing nothing for me. <laughs> it, it's pretty cool to see how high and how much work would have went into building this. Yeah, making this thing would have been mon mon monumental, but yep. yeah, absolutely stunning part of the world. If you, you've got to get down here and check it out. You're probably not going to get it out of the rain either, so just prepare to be wet, <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, not much on the mainland that looks anything like down here. Oh yeah, this is like this is next level. A few little stats about Lake Gordon. Well, Lake Gordon and Lake Petter, the water in, held in them is 30 times the size of Sydney Harbour. So let that sink in. It's massive bodies of water. Um, it's the, as I said, I think the highest concrete arch dam in the world. So that's pretty cool. And it is also as far southwest as you can drive in Tasmania. This is the end of the road. You can't um, you can't go any further. So come down here and that's it. And another interesting stat, definitely not where you want to come to work on your suntan. Boy, Christ, the weather down here is shite. But lucky the scenery kind of makes up for us, but it is freezing and raining. So we're getting back to the car and getting out of it. So yeah, let a few of those stats sink in for a bit because that's pretty damn impressive. So in true trip into the max form, all our plans have changed again. Uh, we were intended to show you around Southwest National Park, do some waterfall walks and some caves and stuff, but Tassie weather doing us dirty. Yeah, <laughs> it was really, really bad weather. It was yeah, supposed to be raining, uh, really cold wind. As you see from the Lake Gordon clips, it was meant to be like that for the next few days. So we decided to bail. Um, so we come into Gretna. We're staying at the grounds of the Gretna pub. Um, got here last night and we, there's free camp out the back and obviously with those sort of things, they'd like you to patronize the club and we may have overdone it just a little bit. <laughs> so, we had a good night, yeah, a good so little we, pub inside. They had the fire going. Yeah, it was beautiful. So we uh, yeah. may have indulged in a couple more drinks than we probably should have and nothing to come after that was YouTube worthy. So <laughs> here we are. So, um, and our plan was now to head sort of up, we were gonna go we're gonna to go to Port Arthur, um, but it's been to be up to like 65 kilometer hour winds for the next few days, so. Yeah, we're gonna give that a miss for a couple of days. <laughs> it's nicer weather towards the end of the week, so we'll. Yeah, head over there then. Yeah. And then we're gonna head up sort of to the middle and it's meant to be snowing and raining up there. So, <laughs> Tazzy weather kicking it for us. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, be close, getting as close to Chrissy, we're gonna run into Hobart. It's not that far from Hobart apparently, so we're gonna, Go and try and sort some Christmas stuff out. Yeah. Get the van looking a bit festive, so I'm gonna go in and check that out. We might, we'll probably stay here tonight and then we'll come up with a game plan then. But yeah, so anyway, just to let you know where we're at, we're doing nothing like we anticipated, but we'll make it work, so. 
And just so you know, the sun is out at the moment, yeah. but if you swing around to the other side, it is black as <laughs> over yeah. the mountain. Yeah, it's not a... Uh, so, the weather's meant to be pretty ordinary for the next four, three days or so. so. This is only going to last for about five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like we said before, tells you weather, if you don't like it, just wait five minutes, it'll change. Yeah. But anyway, we'll head in Hobart and get some stuff done. Battle, let's get it done. Yeah!